on what is 92 Pro FM's 50th birthday. Longtime morning DJ Giovanni has signed off for the last time. Gio wrapping up a truly legendary career at the radio station. Katie McNeil has more on the final moments of his final show. Katie. This is the home of 92 Pro FM, where Giovanni had made a name for himself over the past half a century as a mainstay in local morning radio. Through the power of a microphone, he was able to reach thousands of people every single day. Heading to work in the morning will sound a lot different Tuesday as a transition into a new era without Giovanni begins. I've been thinking about this moment for a very long time. And I know what I want to say, and I hope I, I, hope I say it the way I want to. It's been one heck of a ride. He's been a consistent part of morning routines, a funny and entertaining one. The road shows Will Gilbert as well as Gio's longtime former co-host Kim Zandi were able to be a part of his final morning show Monday to take a look back at some of the memories that were made during his career, including the many celebrity guests that were on the morning show throughout the years. And here he is, Justin Bieber. Good morning. Hey guys, how are you? <laughs> All right, we're going to say good morning to Lisa Renna. Good morning. Hello. Thank you for joining us today. Oh, my pleasure. Thanks for having me. And here he is, the one and only Richard Lewis. Hey. You didn't have to be in the room to feel it. Many heard the emotional messages over the airwaves for Giovanni's final broadcast. So many credit the local legend for their careers and accomplishments. Here we are, the end of the road. We've all been through so much together as a family. And um, I love that the OGs are in this room right now. because The legends. This is my whole career. And like now seeing your whole career and for 50 years, we've reached this point. Um, it's incredible. It's remarkable. And you're going to continue to inspire everybody and we love you and with his last morning show coming to an end after hours of hearing messages of support and appreciation Giovanni opted to end his last show the way he started his career alone in the studio a nostalgic ending encompassing the remarkable journey he's been on and has taken southern New Englanders on for the last 50 years just before the morning show was over at 10 a.m. Giovanni said the words for one final time there's always a better song on 92 Pro FM. In Giovanni's honor, the 92 Pro FM studio has been renamed the Giovanni Studio after what was calculated to be 50,000 hours or roughly six years of time spent there. In East Providence, I'm Katie McNeil, 12 News.